It is Teddy Atlas. You will watch Dante's Boxing Nation. Keep watching. Otherwise, Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? This just in. Robert Garcia does an interview and he tells the media that Marcos Maidana said that if he does not land the rematch with Floyd Mayweather, he is going to retire from the sport of boxing. Now, there's a lot to say about this situation. Either Maidana is sincere when he says this or... This could also just be a way for him to possibly negotiate his way back into another fight with Floyd Mayweather. But I'm going to go with Maidana being sincere. I don't think this is a negotiation plot. I think that Marcos Maidana, he does not want to deal with the young Lions at the welterweight division. We, you know, For you guys who don't know, Maidana, he already turned down a fight that was offered to him from Keith Thurman. Matter of fact... Keith Thurman offered Maidana a fight on multiple occasions just for Maidana to turn it down. I mean, it just doesn't make sense if you think about it. Maidana has the momentum right now. He beat Adrian Broner. He followed that performance, came back, and gave Floyd Mayweather, the best fighter of this era, his most difficult fight in probably decades. And, then, and now you're saying you're going to retire if you don't get the rematch? When you have a huge roster of top-notch welterweights and welterweight champions that you could fight outside of Floyd Mayweather, it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. The reason why it makes sense is because I understand that once again, we like to call these guys like Maidana, quote-unquote, the tough guys in the sport of boxing. But realistically, if you think about it, these are usually the guys that do the most ducking. These are usually the guys that avoid that big guy that's 15 pounds bigger than him, that's much stronger than he is. They are used to having the advantage of being the stronger guy. They're used to having the advantage of being the bigger guy in the ring. I mean, if Marcos Maidana rehydrated, rehydrated all the way up to 165 pounds, then that means that Marcos Maidana was always the bigger guy in the ring, okay? He's never been in a Mayweather situation before. Most fighters have not been, where you're fighting against a guy 15 pounds bigger than you, younger than you, stronger than you, right? Marcos Maidana, he's not used to fighting fighters like that. If Marcos gets in the ring with a Keith Thurman, he already knows what time it is. Trust me, he already knows. That's the reason why he's turned to fight down. Marcos Maidana, there's, like I said, there's another champion out there, which is Sean Porter. Marcos Maidana is not in a hurry to get in the fight or get in the ring, I should say, with a Sean Porter. Why not? He's an undefeated welterweight champion. You would get your belt back and you would continue to build momentum because losing to the best fighter of, you know, of this era it's really not that bad because he did a good job in the fight and he was expected to lose anyway. So he was in a win-win situation, all right? But once again, why doesn't this quote-unquote tough guy have the confidence that he could get in the ring and knock out Keith Thurman, knock out Sean Porter, knock out whoever else is at the top of the welterweight division outside of Floyd Mayweather? Why doesn't he have that confidence, guys? Once again, man, it's always that fighter that we accuse of being reluctant, being a chicken, being scared, like a Floyd Mayweather. He's the one that's doing all of the tough stuff. Think about it real quick, guys. How many fighters do you guys know right now at the top of the division that makes a career fighting against guys that are stronger than they are, bigger than they are, much bigger, much heavier, right? And on top of all of that, the majority of them being prime champions. How many fighters do you know that does that on a regular? Not Sergio Martinez, not Manny Pacquiao, not Juan Marquez, and not Marcos Maidana. You don't see these guys fighting prime champions back to back that are bigger and stronger and younger than they are on a regular. The only fighter I know doing it right now are two fighters, and that is Floyd Mayweather and that is Bernard Hopkins, okay? Outside of that, no one else is doing it. That is what makes you a tough guy. 
And until Marcos Maidana gets in the ring with a Sean Porter, with a Keith Thurman, with someone on that level, he ain't no tough guy. Really all he is is a bully. He, he wants to get in the ring with people that he knows that he's bigger and stronger than. And as if that's not enough, he wants to put on his special gloves, his margarito type gloves. Because they're so special that Maidana claims that if he was wearing those gloves, he would have been able to knock out Mayweather. Oh, but he couldn't do it with the gloves he was wearing. He needed the special gloves to do it. All right? So being 15 pounds bigger than Floyd Mayweather. So trying to kick Floyd Mayweather with Muay Thai knees in the ring, low blows, and everything else that you could do dirty, that wasn't enough. He also needed his gloves, his special gloves, I guess in a way that's an indirect compliment to Floyd Mayweather because what Maidana just basically said is that he hit Mayweather with everything that he had and he couldn't hurt him at all. That's what he pretty much just said. But if he would have had the gloves that had cushion moved all around to where there was no cushion around the knuckles, then he would have been able to knock out Floyd Mayweather. That makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. So how come you don't want to get in the ring with your special gloves against Keith Thurman, against Sean Porter? Put them gloves on with them. Let's see what happens. I bet you even with your favorite gloves, you still ain't going to win the fight. I, I can tell you guys right now, there is no way Maidana is beating Keith Thurman. There is no way Maidana is even beating Sean Porter. And, Keith, and Maidana understands this. That's the reason why he's not calling them out. I mean, think about this for a second. If Maidana had any interest in fighting one of these guys, he would have said it. He would have said, you know what, if I don't get the Mayweather fight, you know, I want to fight Sean Porter for the welterweight title. That's the, that's the only logical thing that makes sense, right? That is the logical next thing to do if you cannot get the Floyd Mayweather fight, right? Fight Sean Porter for the championship belt. Then fight Keith Thurman. There's all type of ways for Maidana to continue to make a lot of money in the sport of boxing. He has no excuses not to fight Thurman or Porter because they're all with Showtime. They're all with they're all associated with Golden Boy and Al Heyman. So Marcos Maidana, he has no excuse not to fight these guys. But once again, he's playing the bully role. Okay? He doesn't want to be in there with a knockout artist. He doesn't have the confidence to deal with these type of guys. He wants to be in there with Floyd Mayweather. He wants to have that 15 to 20 pound weight advantage. He knows that Floyd Mayweather doesn't have the type of power that he has. So he's going to avoid the top fighters at the division. You know, like I said, for people trying to make excuses, oh, well, you know, Sean Porter or Keith Thurman, they ain't done enough and this and that. Listen, when you're Marcos Maidana and you don't have a belt anymore, you don't have a championship belt and Sean Porter is the champion, and you can't get the Mayweather fight, it only makes sense to fight the champion. You don't have any excuses. You can't say he hasn't done anything. What do you mean he hasn't done anything? He's the champion in your division. Excuses, you know, there are no more excuses. Okay? And then you have the unfinished business with fucking Adrian Broner. Now, let me, let me go ahead and make this clear, guys. Me personally, after watching Broner versus Carlos Molina, I would pick Maidana to win the rematch, right? But yet at the same time, when someone gives you a title shot and they didn't have to, right? They give you a shot at their title. It is only common sense and obviously the right thing to do is give that person a shot to win their own title back. He gave you a shot at the title. Adrian Broner put you in a position to fight against Floyd Mayweather and make enough money to probably be set for the rest of your life. And you're telling me in return, you can't give this guy a chance to try to redeem himself? If you believe that you beat him so easy, that is easy money for you to go pick up. I mean, Marcos Maidana already got the Floyd Mayweather fight, so you know, fans can't make the excuse saying, oh, well, you know, why should Maidana fight Broner again when he could fight the big fish, Floyd Mayweather? Well, he already did that, okay? And like I said, if he doesn't get the rematch 
what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Or maybe I should say, what is he supposed to do if he's supposed to be this tough guy? You try to clean out the rest of the division. And when you do something like that, you're going to be guaranteed to get a rematch with Floyd Mayweather. Why? Because if you were able to beat Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, even if it was just one of those guys, if you were able to beat one of those guys, that would make the Floyd Mayweather Maidana rematch just that much bigger. Okay? And once again, going back to the Adrian Broner rematch, even if he goes back to the rematch with Adrian Broner, it makes all the sense in the world financially because that fight is going to be that much bigger. That is going to be a huge fight because of obviously what happened in the first fight. Adrian Broner, he was basically promoting himself as being the heir apparent to Floyd Mayweather. Marcos Maidana he upsets and he becomes the first person to beat Adrian Broner. He goes on giving Floyd Mayweather one of his toughest fights. Now he comes back and gives Adrian Broner a rematch to solidify the fact that it wasn't a fluke. That no matter what Adrian Broner does, he can never beat Marcos Maidana. That would make for a great fight. It would probably, it might even be a pay-per-view fight. Not saying it's going to do a million buys. But, you know, for these small timers, it would do some decent numbers, okay? You know, it could be possible that Maidana, he was, all, he was only really in this sport just to make a big check and then retire because that's what it's sounding like right now. I mean, after he lost to Devin Alexander, he was going to retire. That's what he said. And then, you know, he gave it another shot. He came back, got some momentum. Now he's a millionaire because he landed the lotto shot against Floyd Mayweather and you know hopefully I'm wrong hopefully I'm wrong hopefully I'm wrong and Maidana he does get in the ring with the Sean Porters and the Keith Thurmans but I don't think I'll be wrong when it comes to this I don't think I'll be wrong when it comes to this another fighter that Marcos Maidana avoided and ducked on multiple occasions was Tim Bradley years ago some of you guys may know may not know about that fight Actually, there was articles out that that fight was already a done deal. I remember everybody, everybody was talking about Bradley versus Maidana. They were already interviewing Bradley, and Bradley was like, it's going to be a good fight, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then all of a sudden, Maidana was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I never said that I was going to fight this guy. And Maidana, he pulls out. That would have been Maidana's biggest fight before the Adrian Broner fight, Okay. But it was Maidana that pulled out. And then they tried to make the fight a second time. Maidana turned it down. All right? So, like I said, once again, we already know Maidana. He turned down multiple fights against Keith Thurman. And he did the same thing with Tim Bradley. There's no, there's no telling who else he turned down. But we know these are the fighters that he turned down. Okay? Now, another fight that would be good, I think would be really interesting, is if Maidana were to try to fight... Manny Pacquiao. That's another good fight right there. And it would be a big one. And I think that Maidana would be very he would be very comfortable in a fight like that because once again, he'll go in the ring outweighing Manny Pacquiao by 15 to 20 pounds. And then he'll probably even get to sneak in his favorite gloves against Manny Pacquiao. Let's see how the Pacquiao fans take that. But realistically, I don't think Pacquiao will get in the ring with someone like Marcos Maidana. He is a knockout artist. He does have or possess a lot of power. I mean, it's getting to the point with Bob Arum and Top Rank with, you know, Manny Pacquiao just re-signing with Top Rank. They have no opponents, you know, in the roster, in the Top Rank roster, excuse me. So because of that, they may not have any choice but to possibly fight against some Golden Boy type of opponents. All right. And just real quick before I end this video, I think it's very hypocritical for Maidana to cry demanding a rematch for Floyd Mayweather, which I wouldn't mind watching it, but for him to demand a rematch with Mayweather, but yet he feels that he doesn't have to give Adrian Broner a rematch. When Adrian Broner gave him a title shot that put him in a position to even fight against Floyd Mayweather. It is very hypocritical. Okay, so that's pretty much all I got, guys. I'm on to the next one.